Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You know it's your girl Gillette and I'm here with a story time. So guys, before you watch this video, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. So as soon as I drop another video guys, then you'll be the first to be notified. Guys, thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for my returning subscribers. Thank you for all my um, secret, secret um, viewers. Because I see a lot of people view my videos, guys. But not a lot of um, thumbs up. Guys, it's not taking. It's not going to take anything for you to just hit that thumbs up button. So, guys, I'm here with a story time. And this is... A story time of my life this is what happened to me when I was a child when I was much younger this is what happened to me guys so I'm gonna share it with you today so guys let's go okay guys when I was a child I remember I was about um, I was about 12 13 years of age um, back in the days cuz guys are born in the 70s so back in those days you, you didn't have um cell phone like everybody know that have a cell phone and all that um back in the days we used to my parents they used to deal with um either telegram or letter mostly letter from um coming through the post office so anyway guys my mom um my mom was married at the time She's still married now, but not, not to the same person. So my stepfather, he used to travel. He used to um, go overseas to either pick apple or cut cane or stuff like that. So he would normally send letter through the post office with money for maintenance, you know, for the home and for his kids. And, you know, I'm his stepdaughter, so... I'm the one who used to go to the post office to go get um, the mail. So, guys, where I have to go to get the mail, it was like, um, let me tell you, maybe about seven miles I have to walk to go to the post office. It's not like now. So, guys, the, the post office was in a place called Maidstone. And I am living in Somerset, Manchester. So guys, I remember my mom um, decided that, okay, she's going to send me to the post office, but she's going to send me alone. She said she's not going to send my brother with me because if both of us go, then you know that it's going to take forever for us to get back home. And it's always on a Friday. So if I get any mail coming from my stepdad, normally money would be in, the, in it. And it's always... I think it's always like money order or um, some form of check or whatever. I don't quite remember. But if I don't, if I come back on time on Friday, then guys, she'll be able to go to Mandeville and to get it changed. And you know, you're young, so you know that if money comes, then guys, you know that, you know, when mommy go to Mandeville on Saturday to do grocery shopping or whatever, you're going to get local goodies. So anyway, guys, she decided that she's going to send me alone to the um, post office. Guys, that's all. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a lot of walking. A lot of walking. I said it was about seven miles. It could be more or it could be less. I know that it would be probably more when you walk on the, um, when you go straight. Or normally, there's a shortcut that we normally take. To cut out some of that walking so we take a shortcut so anyway guys i go through the shortcut and i'm not gonna lie to you that shortcut it's like true it's like a, a little track that you have to walk through like a track and it's like a forest i'm not gonna lie to you there's not a lot of houses through through there maybe you will you'll have quite a few houses out by the front of that area but going deep into that forest, guys, there's no house. And, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. The, the road that you have to walk, it's like, as I said, it's like a track. And you have to go down one hill 
and you have to go up another one so the hill it was like it shaped like this shaped like this so you come down this hill and then you have to go up this hill to actually to get back out on the main so anyway guys i threw that track again it's very cold it's wet it's all it's dark it's actually dark going through there and i'm not gonna lie to you the, the um the track is through there is always wet it's the hills are a lot of rock so yeah it's like you're going down a rocky hill and going up another rocky hill so anyway guys i decided that all right, that's where I'm going to walk. I'm not going to go all the way because walking, going around the, the long road, then it's, it, it's a good, it's, honestly guys, it's a good walk. You have to, it, it would take you much longer to get to the post office than if you go through the shortcut. That's why guys, they said, long road draw sweat, but shortcut draw blood, which is true. Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll go through the shortcut and I didn't get any mail I did not get any mail guys there was no letter at the post office and normally in those days you're going to the post office the only thing you're probably gonna get from your parents to maybe buy a sock sock a sock sock is like a bag juice a little bag with some they used to use like kool-aid and lime and sugar to make that they freeze it and then they would sell it so Normally, going there, you will get like a $5 to buy like a sock sock. Sock sock in those days were like $2 or maybe $3. So guys, anyway, I go to the post office. There was no mail. So I decided that, okay, let's go back home. Guys, just me alone in our life. As I, as I said, back in, the, in those days, I was about 12 to 13 years of age. Not old. So, after... I'm um, heading back home, still going back through that shortcut. Um, I realized after I passed this house, that was the only house right out there. The only house that I would pass before and I would have to walk maybe another two mile. Yeah, maybe another two mile before I reach up and another house. So guys, after I passed the house, I realized when I was um, heading towards the, the passing the gate of the house, I realized I saw a young man. He ran ahead of me and I didn't see where he turned. I didn't realize that he, he, he went to hide. And there was this other guy, this other one that as soon as I passed the gate, this other one started walking behind me. I didn't know what they had planned. I didn't know what they have in their mind. I didn't know. I have no clue. I was just going about my business. So guys, after passing that gate, I realized that this young man coming up behind me, so I started to walk a little bit faster. So walking, and then after I reached out to some bushes, I realized I saw the other one jump out of the bush. So I have one behind me and one in front of me. So anyway, the one in front of me held on to my hand. But obviously he didn't hold on tight enough. So I pulled my hand away from him and I push him. And when I push him, he fell. So I, I get the opportunity to pass him. I start running. Guys, I don't know where I get the strength from. But I started to run. And I run, I run, I run. And I, I was crying. I was crying, I was crying, I was crying. And I was running down that hill. And guys, I'm telling you, the hill is literally wet. The stones are wet. Because, as I said, it's like a forest. Through there, it's dark. And um, when you're going down the road, because Joe fall at night, because I guess maybe because um, it's so dark, when the Joe falls at night, through there is always wet. So guys, I run down that hill. I don't know where I get the strength from, but God gave me the strength to go down the hill. And I went down the hill. Down those rocks. And guys, if you fell on any of those rocks, I know you're either going to break your hand, your foot. You're going to get some form of injury. So guys, I run down the hill. 
and I was crying. And when I when I reach the, the bottom of the hill and to start the other hill, because you have to go down one and you have to go up one. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I couldn't make it up the other hill. I fell. Just starting the other hill, I fell. And that's where the, the, the boys catch me. And they catch me, guys. And I guess they they probably planned what they were going to do to me. I don't know what. I don't know if they were going to kill me. But I know they were going to rape me. I know that. Because they started to, after I fell and they catch me, they started to pull my clothes off. Back in those days, um, as a, a young girl, normally my grandmother never used to let me um, wear pants and stuff like that. So I have to wear a skirt or a dress or whatever. So I had on a skirt, a skirt and blouse. So guys, I was crying and I was crying and those guys decided that, oh, guess what? They're going to get what, they, take what they feel like they're going to take. So anyway, guys. While I was there crying and they started to take, take my, take, literally start to take my clothes off, I hear there was this um, gentleman that was in the, in the, um, in the bushes. I didn't know. He had a feel in there. I guess he planted um, yams and stuff like that. But he have a really thunder, the voice that he have, it sounds like a thunder when he talks. Really deep voice. So like a, like when he whenever he talk, guys, it sound like when um you ever hear when thunder rolling, that's how his voice sound. Really thunder voice he had. So while I was crying, I hear when the man said, "What is that? What is that? What are you doing?" And I guess they didn't realize that he was in the in the bush. So when they realized that he was there, they let go of me and ran. They ran back. To the direction that that we were coming from and i was so happy guys i don't know where i get the strength from but after they let go of me i've i just bolt over the hill guys not even you said bolt could never catch me going over that hill i'm not gonna lie to you i run i run i run i run over the hill and after going over the hill now on top of the hill there's another house on top of the hill and up there it's kind of sunny up that on top of the hill so after running um over that hill i don't as i said guys i don't know where i get the strength from but i tell you i ran over that hill after they let go of me because if that man was not there to save me i know they would rape me and maybe they would probably kill me. I probably wouldn't be sitting here today giving you this story. So, after running over the hill, guys, um, I remember I could not go any further because I was so thirsty. I was tired. And I sat down on a stone and I was crying my heart out. And I saw this gentleman come up to me and he said to me, What happened to you? And I was telling him. And um, he gave me some water. And he said... To drink the water and take time walk just take my time and to continue walk and go home and to tell my mother not to send me alone through up there anymore because i mean probably they would probably find my body somewhere and all of that so guys that just goes to show that i am a blessed child i am very blessed because god have been protecting me from i was a child until this day so that's the reason why guys i have to always put my trust in god i always have to put him first i put him first in my life in everything that i do guys i put god first so guys this is just a little encouragement today to let somebody know that god loves you no matter what you're going through in life he loves you just a few days ago, I was saying to my daughter, I was, um, we were talking and I was saying to her, you know, I'm blessed. I'm really blessed because um, I've seen so many people that have a lot of sickness and stuff like that. They're going through a lot in life. And guys, I've never been sick. I'm over 50 years old and I've never been sick. The only time I can remember lying into a hospital bed 
is actually when I was giving birth to my kids and which God bless me with three kids so I just give God thanks for guiding me for protecting me throughout all of these years so guys just remember that in everything you do put God first because guess what give him the driving seat of your life because once you put him first he will always he's not going to disappoint you he will always protect you he will never disappoint you so guys that's my story this is a story of my life something that happened to me when i was a child so guys please remember to like share comment subscribe hit the post notification bell so as soon as i drop another video guys then you'll be the first to be notified so guys enjoy the rest of your day and also enjoy the rest of your week god bless love you guys